ऑडेंसले लुप्तु चो अनि धरिंग अजु ग्रामा की लेसन शिक्ती चे वा अनि क्या जो आप उसे रे ग्रामा लेसन पार्ट मंगवे हो वा हम अजु की जेने गुवे नंगलो ला अनि ग्रामा लेसन चिक खलना ना रिपोर्टेड स्पेस ले वा अनि रिपोर्टेड स्पेस ले दी दी ना क्या जो ये मात जेने गुवे दो वाला जंगल रे वा तं अजु की रिपोर्टेड Command the request. What? And you will be careful now. Question. What? Somebody careful now. What is it? Statement. And as you get into government, now we reported speech. Now we are. These are the things that we are going to focus on. How to change? Okay. Uh, command sentences into indirect, how to change question uh, uh, direct into indirect, how to change statement into indirect. Okay, yes. Now these are the things that we are going to do. The leading on Juki, object the chair, and the can sneene any jangu girwa, the in a juki thing, the focus the karlana, the reported space late. Okay, yes. So, reported speech tang lola, tang a jugi, eh, ye la tang go reported speech tang a kare le in the yorwa. Tati imba sonza, reported speech lavra jena, tang a jugi, sentence sick nang lola, eh, if we try to code, if we try to code exact word. मिचिकी के जब हरे शेज़ो दी चिप चिकन अंजु की कोट चिवर रचना अन बेला अंजु खाल्ला वाल लवर रचना अ तेला डायरेक्ट स्पीच लनी लवरेस तो कैसे मिचिकी के जब शेज़ो देगी अंजु की कोट चिये दे एक्जेक्ट में बचे पर जो देगी खाल्ला जो चिम चिचे मज़े बचे देगी अनि ठंडा दी मेन मीनिंग दी दी अंजु की अनि लवर � वाह अन्य लोग ना जो खाली बोल रहा ना इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच ठीक होता है उस वाह ओके डायरेक्ट स्पीच तो इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच लेने तब पहले एग्जांपल जितने हम रहे जना पहले डायरेक्ट स्पीच लेने ठीक होता है लेने में रहे जना पहला चांसी सेड आई एम फाइन Okay, yes. Then she said, I am fine. So, I am fine lady. Let's go to the direct speech. I am fine lady. It is the exact word spoken by Tashi. So, direct speech, the, it is always put in inverted comma. So, that is the first thing that you have to understand. Understood? So, this is direct speech. Now, indirect speech leverage na, hurry leverage na, example the, Tashi said that he was fine. So, he was fine, this is indirect. Why? This is not the exact word Tashi uh, has spoken. Tashi, hurry exact word, I am fine later. In a Najugi, इनडायरेक्ट नंगलो ला ठंडा दिन में तो क्यों किसी चिमा चीजें दिख रही हैं मरो आती हैं बसों जा ठंडा दिन कर रहे हैं अब वो दिवो ये लाये रो आती हैं बसों जा टाशी सेड दैट ही वाज फाइन सो ही वाज फाइन दिस इस इनडायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच बिकॉज़ दिस इस नॉट द एक्सेक्ट वर्ड so did you understand? Okay, direct speech, the indirect speech thing. And so, khar lava raja na, me ge khar e keja shejo dee de la, ani ta nere. Kesi me de ge keja shejo dee ne, sik chima chishi na ju ki, thiva raja na, a de la na ju ki, direct speech lava raja. Kesi me de ge keja la ni, sik chima chishi me ba se. Not the exact word, but we try to tell the main meaning. Okay, content di in ba raja na, na ju ki de la, indirect speech la ni, lava raja. कुछ तो हुआ तो ठीक बस उन जा डायरेक्ट स्पीच दी इनडायरेक्ट ना ला जुड़े दी क्या जो शिंगोरे ठेका ना ला इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच दी डायरेक्ट ला जुड़ा दी दी क्या जो शिंग अच्छी हो तो दी दी सेम नंबर चाहिए तो दी कुछ तो हुआ ओके डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस 
Okay, yes. Reported speech nanglola manjugi direct speech da indirect speech. Or is direct speech lana it is the exact word spoken by the person. Okay. Indirect speech is not the exact word but the meaning. You got it? On the shim do direct na indirect la duration or indirect na direct duration. Pena Tashi said I am fine. This is direct. That did the indirect na kandis over it. Tashi said that he was fine. You want it? Okay, now this is how we change direct into indirect. Now, the, the uh, I, the he, Khandichare, the, the tense, Khandichare. Now, these are the things that we are going to do afterwards. For the time being, did you understand this? Did you go to Okay, yes. Okay, yes. Now, the second thing I want you to keep in mind is tense change. So, whenever we change direct into indirect, you have to uh, keep in mind that the tense changes. Okay, yes. Now, before that, let us try to uh, study this. Tashi said. I am going. Okay, yes. So you just look at this sentence. Tashi said, I am going. Okay, yes. So Tashi said. So this is a reporting verb. This is a reporting verb. This is a Reporting speech. Did you understand? Okay. Tashi said, this is a reporting verb. I am going, this is a reported, reporting speech. You got it? Okay, yes. So, uh, Tashi said, so if the reporting verb, it says, if the reporting verb is in present or if the reporting verb is in future, no change in tense. Okay, yes. If the reporting verb, okay, yes, Tashi said, okay. If this reporting verb is in present or future, then in the reporting speech, there will be no change in the Tense. The tense remains same. You got it? Okay, yes. Now let us look at this. Okay, yes. This particular sentence. Tashi said. What is the uh, tense of the reporting verb? Is it present? No. Is it future? No. So this is, uh, what should I say, uh, past. So if the reporting verb is in past, then the reporting speech will be in past tense. Did you understand? If the reporting verb is in past tense, the reporting speech will be in past. You got it? But if the reporting verb is in present or future, there will be no change in the tense. Did you understand? Okay, yes. So, uh, I will give you an example. Okay, yes. For example, now this is the This is the direct. Okay, now if I change this into indirect, Tashi said that he was good. Okay, now this is how we change. So we know that the reporting verb is in past, so the reporting speech will be in past tense. Tashi said that. He was going. Did you understand? If the reporting verb is in past tense, the reporting speech will be changed into indirect. I mean, uh, past tense. So here, this is I am. Here, he was. Am is changed into was. 
Now this is what you have to keep in mind. So you see the change in the tense? Okay, yes. If the reporting verb is in past tense, the reporting speech will be in past. Okay, yes. Let us take one example. Okay, yes. Does she sat? I can eat. Okay, yes. So, the reporting verb, what tense is this? This is past. Okay, so this should be in past also. So, how do we change that? Does she said that he can could change? Can change into could. He said that he could eat. Why? Because the reporting verb is in past. So the next reporting space will be also in past. Did you understand? Okay, yes. Then let us take an example of other one. Okay, where the reporting verb is in present or in future. Okay, now did you understand this? Okay. Now let us take an example of one direct speech where the reporting verb is in present or in future. Okay, yes. For example, okay, yes. Dava will say, I am a Tibetan. Okay, yes. So you see, if you look at this reporting verb, what tense is this? This is in future. Okay, so how do you change that? Dava will say that he is a Tibetan. So you see, Dava will say that he is a Tibetan. This is a present, this is a present. So, you see, there is no change in the tense. So, if the reporting verb is in future or present, there will be no change in the tense. If the tense remains same. Okay, let us take an example of uh, the present one. Okay, yes. Dawa says, I am good. Okay, yes. So you see the reporting verb is in present. So this will remain same. There will be no change. Okay. Dawa says that he is good. Did you understand? So you see I am, he is, there is no change. So this is how we uh, change. You got it? So in this part, what you have to keep in mind, you have to keep in mind regarding the change in the tense. I told you, if the reporting verb is in future or present, there will be no change in the tense. The tense remains same. Whereas, if the reporting verb is in past, the reporting speech will be in past. So there is a change. There is a change in the tense. Did you understand? Okay, yes. So that is the thing that you have to keep in mind. Okay, yes. Okay, the next thing that you have to keep in mind is pronoun. When we change static into indirect, you have to also keep in mind uh, the change in the pronoun. For example, I, we, uh, you, uh, my, our, your, me. Okay, now all these things, okay, this pronoun will change will change according to the subject okay according to the subject this pronoun will change for example okay yes 
Benzene said, I am eating Momo. Okay, yes. now first of all, what is the tense of the reporting verb? The tense of the reporting verb is in pass. Okay, so you see, this will also turn into pass. Got it? That is the thing that you have to keep in mind. Okay, now here I'm not interested in uh, the tense, I'm interested in the pronoun. Okay, we are talking about pronoun. Okay, yes. So, Tenzin said that he was eating Momo. Okay, yes. So, you see, I change into he. Why? We are talking about Tenzin. So, according to the subject, you have to change the pronoun. Did you understand? Okay, yes. I want you to look at this. Okay, pronoun I told you. I, we, you, my, our, your, me. There are so many things. This will change according to the subject. Okay, yes. If the subject is plural, it will also change into plural. If the subject is male, it will change. If the subject is female, it will change. Did you understand? So that is the thing that you have to keep in mind. But the pronouns such as he, she, they, these will not change. This will remain same. Okay? Yes. But the pronoun, first person, and second person, these will change, but the third person will not change. That is the thing that you have to keep in mind when we talk about the change in the pronoun. Did you understand? Okay, yes. So, so far, what did we do? We uh, would you introduce uh, the reported uh, speech, okay, direct speech and indirect speech. And second one, when we change direct into indirect, we have to uh, first uh, keep in mind the change in the tense. Okay, yes. And the second one, we have to keep in mind the change in the pronoun. Okay, yes. Now, this is just a, uh, what should I say, a brief introduction of the reported speech. Okay, yes. So, if you have understood, now we are going to move on to the next one. Okay, yes. So, next one is, now how are we going to change uh, direct into indirect if the statements are question, if the statement are statement, and if the statement are uh, which we say command or request. Okay, yes. Now we have to, uh, which we say, uh, study this thing. We have to learn how to change these into indirect. You got it? Okay, yes. So reported speech. Whatever the person says, whatever the person says, it can be either question, it can be either statement, or it can be either command or request. So, we have to change this. Okay. Now, first of all, let us talk about question. So, when I say question, how many types of questions are there? Okay. Yes. Any idea how many questions are there? Yes. Okay. Let me tell you, there are two types of questions. First one is 5WH question. 5WH means what, where, who, when, why, okay, at, how. Now, this question come under one category. We call it 5WH, what, why, when, where, okay, there are so many things. And the second type of question, question whose answer always comes in yes and no. Yes? Do you have any question whose answer always comes in yes and no? Yes. Questions 
starting with helping verb for example are you tibetan is he are you were you were they can you okay now all these come under other category you got it okay yes for example what are you doing what type of question is this what are you doing that she said what are you doing so what is this type of question this is 5wh you got it so this is under this category the second one that she said are you tibetan are you tibetan what type of question is this the question is yes and no so you see there are two types of questions understood okay yes so there are two types now when we change this into indirect okay yes uh, as far as the 5wh is concerned there isn't any uh, additional word that we have to add okay but for this we have to add one word for example whether or we have to add if when we change these into indirect we have to add these either whether or if now for all the 5ws question uh, we don't have to add anything did you understand okay yes now let me give you an example okay yes let me give you an example okay yes now we are talking about the question first okay yes question okay yes tanzan sat where is the canton okay yes tanzan sat where is the canton what type of question is this first where is the canton what type of question is this yes okay now this is 5 w h question now if we have to change this into indirect now this is how we do tanzan sat okay we asking so tanzan as me where the canton was okay now this is how we change okay now uh, as far as the tense is concerned uh, they will be changed in the tense okay why because if you look at the reporting verb the reporting verb is in past so this will also change okay yes so tanzan asked me where the canton was so we don't have to put anything so when we change this into indirect this is how we do where the canton was not where was the canton okay tanzan asked me where was the canton okay yes if we use the helping verb before the noun okay it remains the question okay yes where is the canton this is a question but where the canton was this is not a question there is no need for you to use question mark here why because this has turned into statement this is not a question where the canton was did you understand okay yes. the second one tashi said are you okay okay yes now you just try to see what type of question is this are you okay are you okay you see the answer always comes in yes and no so this is yes and no okay yes this is not the 5ws this is yes no type okay yes question whose answer always comes with yes and no now whenever we change yes and no uh, question into indirect we have to use either whether or if okay now let us say tashi instead of sad since this is a question tashi asked me 
Okay, are you okay? Now we have to use either whether or if. Now she asked me whether I was okay or not. So this is how we change. Here are. Here we use was. You see the change in the tense? Yes. Why? Because the reporting verb is in past. So, does she ask me whether I was okay or not? So, this is how we change. Okay. Or, instead of whether, you can also use if I was okay. Did you understand? Okay, yes. Now, the question. There are two types of questions. 5WH and a uh, question whose answer always comes in yes and no. So for the 5WS, there is no need for us to add anything. Okay. But as far as the yes, no type of question is concerned, we have to add either whether or if. It's up to you. You got it? So did you understand? Okay. Yes. In both these cases, the reporting verb is in past. So you see, uh, there is a change in the tense. Did you understand? Okay, yes. So I will give you some uh, examples. Okay, examples. I want you to do this. Okay, yes. Okay, yes. So the first one. Dawa sad what are you doing okay yes the second one my teacher sad Can you sing? Okay. Third one. Doji sat. Why are you crying? Okay, fourth one. Tenzin said, Have you eaten pizza? Okay, yes. Now, these are the, uh, which we say, exercise that I want you to do. Okay. So, before that, try to identify what type of question is this. I told you, these are all questions. Okay. Yes, questions. What are you doing? What type of question is this? Can you sing a song? Identify what type of question. Why are you crying? Have you eaten? Okay. Now, first of all, before you change direct and indirect, first try to Identify what type of question is this? I told you there are two types of question. First one is 5WS. The second one is question whose answer always comes in. Yes and no. Okay, yes. If it is 5WS, there is no need for us to add anything. But if it is a yeah, question whose answer starts with yes and no, we have to use whether or if. Now these things. Okay, so I want you to do this. One, two, three, four. Okay? Yes. So this is a short exercise. And after that, we are going to do another one. Okay? Yes. Okay? Yes.